Cape Cod, frozen style. Next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. I'm at frozen Wall Fleet Harbor. Every place on Cape Cod seems frozen. Sometimes it's just beautiful. Sometimes it causes damage. Sometimes there are giant chunks just moving around. Let's take a look at ice on Cape Cod. What can ice do uh, around a harbor, uh, coming on shore, moving around a lot? Well, the ice, it's a very powerful source when you combine it with tides and wind. Uh, we get a lot of dark damage. Uh, it, it pulls the pilings out and uh, leaves us a big mess in the spring when it goes away. We saw some of that frozen trouble just recently in South Yarmouth when ice damaged docks at Packet Landing. And we talked to Yarmouth Natural Resources Director Carl Von Hone about this year in ice. We had ice packs in the upper reaches of Bass River as well as other parts of town. Lewis Bay has a very tight ice pack as well. Uh, so as we get that thaw and these winds, uh, we have the ice break. And uh, like in many places, especially the inland rivers, where you have that ice break, that's one of the most dangerous times uh, when those packs start to move. We're talking about thousands and thousands of pounds of, of ice that's moving. Ice has caused the cancellation of some ferries and Coast Guard icebreakers have been hard at work, like here, off of Woods Hole. Let's just talk a little safety, uh, walking on like salt ice or ice near water, salt water. It's pretty risky, right? Stay away. What's the whole deal with that? Definitely stay away. And a lot of times people will let their dogs walk out on the ice and they, be, they get in trouble and uh, the people follow them out there and that's a very dangerous thing to do.